Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Paul, and it's time for another Hockey Monday. And this time, George Seabrook and the Calgary Flames are taking on the St. Louis Blues. Um, one thing I want to address in this video is uh, lately I've been getting some really weird comments on the videos. Um, a lot of I don't know if people are trolling me or if they're just being stupid I I don't know like uh, <laughs> there was there was some some things said about the the last Kings video I put out about the three pointers made uh, I I show when I make threes but trust me I miss a hell of a lot of shots like it's not like I'm making all the shots that'd be ridiculous I just play like that um, old seven second or less offense that Mike D'Antoni used with the Phoenix Suns. That's kind of how I play with that team. Um, so I'm just chucking up a ton of a ton of threes, and some of them go in because I shoot even more. So just to clear that up, if any of those dissenters are actually watching this video, and uh, I'm not mad or or uh, frustrated by you guys I'm just confused it's like think think critically about it for a little bit and you'll understand that I'm not trying to like cheat the system here but anyway this is actually a very good game um, in my opinion you can tell by the title it it's it's pretty damn good but really high scoring and right there the St. Louis Blues score their first goal and tie up the game. And uh, George Seabrook was heading towards that defender. I, I messed up uh, when I was going towards him. I, I veered to the left a little bit. And I could have probably blocked the shot if I had gotten in front of him. But what are you going to do? The goalie really did mess up there. It, it's, it's almost not even my fault. But right there... An excellent, uh, sort of a cross crease pass. Like, it really just caught the goalie off guard, and Seabrook scores his first goal of the game with the with an assist from Lee Stepniak. Now, if you guys wonder, where's Alex Tange in all of this? He hasn't been in these last few videos. Alex Tange has been injured for, like, six weeks. But um, the next video... Should be the last one without him, or the next couple, because his injury is almost done. And luckily, it'll finish right before the playoffs. But watch, watch this goal right here. Just, oh, that feels so good when you shoot and there's no sound of it hitting a pad or or a bar. It just goes straight to the net, and Seabrook gets his second goal, sort of an assist from Giordano and and Babchuk. But um, that was, uh, I haven't been able to do that for a while. And when I did it while I was recording, I was like, wow, that was, that was pretty awesome. And you can see there, um, since the Flames uh, only have a one goal lead, well, right there, George Seabrook picks up his hat trick. But I was going to say the Flames only have a one goal lead. Even though it's the third period, Seabrook had a chance to get an empty net goal. But it doesn't matter. Seabrook picks up the hat trick, the second one I've done in the NHL. And really strange coincidence, both of them I was recording for a commentary. So um, that makes the score 4-2. to two. And right here, they score again. So uh, the Blues aren't going away without a fight. Um, the next few videos that are going to come out um, are probably going to be really quick because I am on spring break so I can probably release a video like every two days here um, though that depends on if I have enough energy um, after I put out a video tomorrow on RGN Sports speaking of which RGN Sports go subscribe to their channel the link of the channel is on my channel um, and George Seabrook picks up his fourth goal of the game. And I think that might be the most goals he's gotten in one game in an NHL, uh, NHL game. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I had a four-goal game when he was still on the St. John Sea Dogs. But that makes it 67 for the season, and he's definitely going to win the uh, the goal trophy, whatever that's called, all the most goals in a season and most points and all that stuff. Yes, George Seabrook is winning in all those categories, but um, yeah, RGN Sports guys, go check it out. They, you know, the guys on there do really good work. I I really appreciate that that they wanted me on their channel. Um, and you know, all all the guys that post on there are actually very, very talented commentators, in my opinion. They're all they all have something good about them. They do. So. That's the end of the video here. Here's some highlights. All these goals. It was a very high scoring game. One of the best games I've had in a while. And I'm glad I was able to put it up on YouTube. So um, anyway guys, I'm Eric Paul. And thanks for watching.